Hello, everyone. I'm Brent Miller. I'm the pastor here at Culver City Church of God in Southern California, a place for um, 11 years ago when I came to pastor here, I met two individuals, Bishop Bacani and Sister Bacani. They sat in the pews, just in f uh, a few pews in front of me. And so for many Sundays when they were here, um, we would just have a joy of smiles and laughter and stories. And I have grown fondly um, in love with them as my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. And so in those years, um, I learned of the things that they were doing, how they had founded the school in the Philippines, how they had worked so hard, but not just worked hard, but how they had passed on uh, the learnings that they had, the teachings that they had. And so last week here at our church in prayer and in celebration, we celebrated the life of our dear sister Bacani. We celebrated the fact that in her home going, that she is now face to face with her Savior. Sister Bacani gave me this book, and if I may, just very quickly, this is how I remember my dear friend. On page 49 in her book, Lessons of Life, she wrote about something with God, making God glad. She also wrote, how do, see, as a teacher, how do we make God glad? But I want to say this, most of all, the section that really hits home is how she wrote the results of making God glad. Charles Spurgeon writes, I'm reading from her own book, when you lean your head on his bosom, you not only receive, but you give him joy. When you gaze with love upon his glorious face, you not only obtain comfort, but impart delight. One in her teaching of lessons. He loves to see us spend our time reading the Bible and praying. He loves to see us use our talents to serve him. He loves to see us bring our substance to the altar. The lovely offerings from us are precious to him. Forgiving your enemies makes God glad. Sharing what you have to the poor makes him glad. He rejoices when we bring souls to Christ, bringing Christ to the ignorant, the poor, and the unwanted will lift up his cross and give him honor. And then she writes this in a prayer. Dear God, please give me the opportunity to make you glad in all the ways I do things in relation to my family, friends, and other people, the church, and the community. My dear sister has made us, her friends, glad. She has obtained the result of making God glad. Our dear sister was a teacher who taught lessons, lessons they have learned and lessons they pass on to others. So let us honor our dear sister in Christ by passing on to others godly lessons in life that she has given to us. And so we do celebrate the life here at Culver City of our dear sister Bacani. God bless you all.